What are you doing? What do you mean? It's too early in the morning for all of this. Go away. Well, you ready, kiddo? I'm ready. It's a special day. Uh-huh. This is our room for tonight. I really love how it's got hardwood floors. Um, first room I've ever stayed in that had hardwood, hardwood floors in it. Uh, you know, it just, you can get hardwood a lot cheaper, or cheaper. It's probably cheaper, too, but you can get it a lot cleaner. You know, bathroom. This is a Hilton True, and uh, it's a lovely little room, y'all. Uh, it's not very expensive. Well, it's it wasn't cheap, but it was under $100 a night. Well under $100 a night, and uh, it slept beautifully, and uh, was super clean, wasn't it? It was a good it room. Was. Good room. Probably should have made a better intro to this video, you know, back when we were leaving, yeah. but we didn't. So, uh, welcome to the Arkansas Woodcutter Channel, where today something special is happening, something you're not going to want to miss. Nope. It's a big surprise. Chloe and I have gone on the road to take care of a very special, what do you call those things? Like appointments? It's not an appointment. What do you call them? Um, errand? Yeah. What do you call those things? Yeah. Special errand. We got a special errand we're running. And uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go see. Are you ready to go yeah. see? Yeah. Right. She's so full of crap. She was up watching biology stuff like a big nerd a while ago. <laughs> so we're in your car. Yeah, indeed. We're not even in one of my trucks. Mm -hmm. It's cold. It's 36 it's degrees here. Cold. Back home, it was in the 60s. It's yeah. 30 degrees different from where we are in home. Where do you think we are? Do you have any idea? Ooh. Look at here. Y'all know what that is? The pig. And she's running. She don't have any of them squeaks. Yeah, baby. I'll show you the goodies we got on her later. Sweet. Hey, we are at the uh, Walkaloosa Yard and uh, got a surprise. Look at here, Robert. Still got a few leaves on it. I'm gonna strip those off. Here's our mulberry tree from Homestead Aquarius. We got our mulberry. Let's take this back to Arkansas. In the pig, still dirty as can be. If I seem just a little, if I seem just a little bit excited, that's because I am. Um, we are back in the pig. It is running incredible. Got the new updated fuel pump, CP4 fuel pump on this truck. Look at the dimples on the side of your pump. I got four on this one. Um, I was looking at a lady, I met a lady at Dan's when I was picking this up, and uh, she is just getting into the Bennett business, getting ready to drive for Bennett, and she looked at the setup on the pig, which I have yet to show you, and uh, she was super excited about that, and uh, <coughs> decided to set her truck up the same way, but we looked at her Dodge, she got a Dodge Dooley 3500, and we looked at the pump, her, her truck was manufactured in uh, September of 2020 and still had the old pump on it. Um, I don't know why Dodge is doing this. I, I sat down with Norm. I went by Lock Mandy Motors and I met with Norm. And, uh, oh, Norm was mad at me. Norm was like, dude, you smoked us on the customer service. Da, 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 da. He was mad. Well, I was mad because it took them four months to get my truck out of shop. And uh, then there was all kinds of issues when I was getting ready to get my truck. And so Dodge sent me a evaluation. And so I was very honest with that evaluation because I thought it was going to Dodge. What I didn't know is it cost, it hurt my dealer, not Dodge. Dodge 
they just build the trucks and then their hands are free of everything you know they got themselves a pretty good business model set up but because i was brutally honest on my dealer survey um my dealer got smoked and norm was not very happy about that but you know once norm vented a little bit and he got it out of his system i i still think like mandy motors in uh elkhart indiana is a great place to do business uh, you know my days of getting favors for them may be over because i smoked them on that uh that dealer survey but that was never my intention i was giving him honest feedback just trying to let him know what my experience was with their dealership and then he related to me of how things worked on the dealer side of thing with dodge and it's just as messed up y'all the dealers are hung out to drive by dodge just like the customers are it is what a crappy business model i'm not going to bore you with that kind of stuff i just thought i would relay some information we're back in the pig and the pig runs good it runs smooth it's so nice i love it uh we're gonna find out we're already getting better gas mileage than we do in freedom um talk to compliance stop by the office and that um beautiful young woman that works for Horizon came out and gave the truck a once over told me I needed to make sure and get my insurance swapped over and the pig is ready for action so I hate to do this but we are going to drive the pig back to Arkansas get it cleaned up road ready and then drive back up to Indiana and pick up a beautiful load and uh, we may not be done running until Christmas I am so far behind, but the beauty of that is the pig is already registered and licensed, so we got no issues there. Uh, we're still waiting on the paperwork to get in for Freedom, a whole nother story, um, but Freedom cannot be registered as of yet because the paperwork got lost in the mail system, but anyway, gosh, this is long. I'll see you down the road, and I will show you the bling the midnight express package from dan's service center in elkhart indiana it's beautiful y'all the pig once i get her cleaned up a little bit she gonna sparkle like a piece of coal i'll see you down the road guys so on the eve of the election i'm not going to talk about politics instead um, i've noticed that as i go towards home with the pig. I don't have a load. And uh, it would have been really nice if I would have had a load to pull down here and then put my truck up for a little while. But it dawned on me that, um, you know, this year I'm just going to push to break even. But next year, there should be no excuses. I should roll when I want to roll rest when I want to rest. I'll have two trucks. So a lot of the growing pains that I experienced this year in RV transport, you know, uh, will be behind me. It'll be a new set of challenges, a new set of growing pains, mind you. But that sort of stuff will be taken care of the new. I'll be more experienced, more able to deal with things. I'll know the system and the pattern. And I hope after the election, the world doesn't go crazy. It's time to... Ooh-wee! It's time to run. It's time to go get it done. Check this out, y'all. So this is the midnight package. This is all black. One of the updates I got, as I got a uh, fuel filter. That's a floating gauge. That's pretty cool fuel filter or a fuel fuel gauge that's in the tank rather than in the handle of the fuel. I like that. That's a good thing. I'll go ahead and open up a little bit because we're going to be running here in a little minute. Uh, toolbox. New hitch. The uh, mud flaps are even black. Right? Everything on this truck is starting to black out. Black out. Black out. 
and that's what we wanted. Toolbox is black. We got a. It's even got a uh, rubber mat in the bottom of this toolbox, which I absolutely love. But uh, yeah, we ready. Let's go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's the pig. She's updated. Got these little D hooks. See that? Got that one right there. Mounted to the truck. It's all good. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the pig is back in operation. I'm fixing to hop in this beautiful ride and uh, head to uh, pick up my load to Burlington, Washington. It's voting day, and I voted. Let me show you my little sticker so that way you know. Uh, the woodcutter, look at here, look at here, if I can dig it out, let's see, there we go, by the time you're watching this, we should know who our president is, and uh, I just hope that uh, there's not a bunch of looting and burning and going crazy, depending on whoever wins, but uh, hey, know that I love you and God bless you all. Uh, Let's go back on the road and enjoy some time together.